What is going on guys? Welcome back if you're returning. It's been a little bit since I've done any kind of update video, mostly due to the fact that I, I finally got tasked to deploy. I've been fighting to get a deployment for my whole enlistment and I finally got one. So I've been busy with trying to get everything situated, packed in the storage and all that. I figured this would be a good chance to do a video, basically show you the kind of equipment, uh, uniforms and gear that you get issued to you when you deploy. And so people can see like, oh, this is what I'd get. Cause some people don't wanna actually buy the OCPs or you know use their uniform or clothing allowance on that because they'd rather use it on other things <coughs> but other than that uh let's get straight into it all right so i'm just gonna go through all this stuff and just kind of show you what exactly got issued to me so i'll start with the bags first so yeah pretty pretty decent size so it's a mini monster deployment bag just to put some of your gear and your uniforms in here Next, we, uh, we got this three-day bag. It's three-day stretch backpack from the Mercury Tactical Gear. So you can see it's kind of a bigger, bigger backpack because uh, essentially what you're going to want to do is pack for three days. That's why it's a 72-hour bag. So there's a couple things that I'll show you um, what I'll pack in here. Basically, I should be able to live out of this thing going um, to my destination. I should be able to have everything in here. But, you know, pretty basic standard bag. And then next we got the Oakley Ballistic M-Frame Array Kit. Let's see here. here. you can see it comes with a clear lens, but you can also interchange that with the uh, with the tinted ones. So pretty cool. I'll probably actually use the one that I have right now. It's, it's basically the same thing except it's Coyote Brown. That way I can kind of just save this uh, and leave it brand new for when I get back. Um, so when you deploy overseas, you're able to wear these. Uh, they're the actual OCP baseball caps. So I got three of these. I put a different American flag one, uh, on each one. The uh, Army flag, and you got the multi-cam flag. The infrared flag on this one. So I got issued three of these. And that's, that's pretty cool. I'll be wearing those. Got issued some, uh, some of these mechanics gloves. I mean, they're pretty nice. Uh, padded pretty well and they're also the uh, multi-cam or OCP collar on there. This came from Mobility, just a canteen. Um, yeah, it's a canteen. Uh, then we got this normal patrol cap. I'm probably gonna be wearing those baseball caps more than this over there. <clears throat> Next we got a couple of these patches they, uh, they gave us. So you got your Spice Brown flags, your match comm that you're going to. I got about three of these, Staff Sergeant. Next they issued us steel toe boots. So I got these pretty cool ones, the Rockies. I mean, I've tried them on, they're pretty comfy. And they're steel toes, so pretty cool. And we got two pairs of those. So I got another one, probably just gonna bring one set and then the Oakley boots that I have right now. So basically everything that I got issued, I'm not necessarily taking everything with me. I don't think there's a lot of people that actually do that. Really people just take what they need. If I have older stuff, I'm gonna use that because it's already worn. <clears throat> All right, here I got my, uh, got my name tags, or this is the US Air Force. And then I got my name tags too, so we can just kind of attach those. To, uh, to the, the blouses. Also got issued this bucket cap. So overseas, you're allowed to wear this bucket cap or this boonie hat, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really good for, I guess, you know, the sun since it's really blazing down on you. But I think I'll actually bring this too. So I'll probably be wearing this and the baseball cap since we can't wear that over here uh, in the States or in Garrison. Next thing I got are a, <laughs> a pair of coveralls. So, I mean, if we're really working down and dirty, doing some work, you got some coveralls to wear. Uh, honestly, I feel, I wore these, and I don't know if you guys saw the movie Us, but it just kind of reminded me of the movie Us, how those dudes, or whatever, those evil clones wear, <laughs> wear coveralls. 
Next, I got actually, these are actually the, uh, the OCPs issued to me. So I got three sets, uh, three pants and three, three blouses. We got three sets of OCPs that they issued to you. Probably will be bring two or three, honestly. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically All it. All right, so next I guess I'll just show you guys what I'm gonna be packing into my 72 hour bag. As you can see, I already put on my bacon American flag patch, probably one of my favorite patches I've had. Um, and then I also put this little extra uh, compartment here from Kanai. Um, for the 72 hour bag, you'll be packing, uh, of course, one set of OCPs. So I'll be wearing the other one. But for this set, I'll just place in here. As you can see, that kind of takes up a lot of space already. But it's all good because this bag was made for space. Next, we put in some uh, PT gear. So just kind of throw your PT shirt in there and your PT short. And you don't want to forget about your toiletries. So in here, I got my shaving cream, uh, just body wash and shampoo and a shaver. And then I also have my shower shoes as well. So I'll probably just tuck this on the side right here. I'll put these on like the out outer compartment. It's all good, it's all good. We still got space, no worries. We'll throw in uh, just some civilian gym clothes, just in case we get stuck anywhere. You wanna have some comfortable clothes. And since it's 72 hours, you wanna make sure that you have three pairs of socks. So I got these plain black Nike socks here. Next, um, you're gonna wanna bring any prescription meds. So here I have this brown bag, has my EpiPens in here cause I'm allergic to nuts. Ha! <laughs> so I'll probably just throw that actually in this front compartment here. As you can see the bag is starting to fill up. You wanna bring a small flashlight just in case. So we'll just shove that flashlight right there. That works. A reflective belt because they, I guess they said we need these. I've, I've never really worn these other than tech school, but let's put it in the front pocket. And in case you get stuck somewhere, you have a lock. This is a small lock, this should be adequate. We'll put that in the front pocket as well. Next, we have this portable charger. Um, basically, if I need to charge my phone, at least I have a portable charger to, that's with me. We'll put that in the front. It's not charged all the way. I'll charge it at some point. Next, you wanna have something to listen to. So I have these uh, noise canceling headphones. Just kidding, they're just power beats, but just something to listen to music to. We'll put that in the front pocket. This front pocket's getting a little crowded. Okay, we also don't wanna forget about our underwear. So 72 hours, that's three. We'll throw that in here with all the other clothes. I'm in the Air Force, so I'm bringing swimming trunks because you know where the Air Force deploys, there's always a pool. So let's put that in there with the rest of the clothes. When you deploy, you usually don't have your wallet. I don't know, I have never deployed, but they said bring a military um, card holder. So I got this armband holding my CAC and uh, whatever I need else I need to hold. I showed you guys earlier the Oakleys that we got. These are, this is the pair that I already had. It's uh, labeled as the coyote brown color. So I'm actually just gonna pack these instead. And then I think the last thing that I'm gonna add in here is just this travel pillow. So I think you can just attach this to the side. All right, and uh, there you have it. That's your 72 hour bag. So since you're logging this thing around, yeah, of course, it's going to be a little bit bigger. As you can see, it kind of extends out, but that's what it's for. It's, uh, it's supposed to last you three days. All right, and so for my luggage, I'll show you what I'm going to pack in here. Mostly uniform items. Uh, just Sorry, just uh, ignore the uh, laundry in the back. So this is the other bag that was issued to me for the luggage. I'm going to put most of my uniform stuff in here. Cool thing about this is you have this to divide uh, the compartments in here so you just attach the velcro right here and this acts as a divider 
So um, what I'm gonna do first is throw my boots in here. I'll be wearing a pair already. So I'm gonna throw in these steel toe boots. They fit pretty nice. A couple of these brown uh, sand tees or coyote tees, whatever you wanna call them. They are for the new OCPs, bringing about, let's just say seven of them. Next, I'm gonna be bringing socks. So I already have my green socks. Uh, bring in two pairs here So these are the ones that are already worn right now and a big thing that I wanted to bring with me were these um, I guess the dry max or the hot weather socks So they said that we should stock up on these these would be a little more beneficial to wear So I got four pairs the under armor kind and then the uh, the Danner kind so I'll throw those in there I'm kind of weird. So <clears throat> I'm bringing these blousing straps. I just like blousing my pants uh, maybe just because I'm a shorter dude, but I also like the way it looks. So, got three pairs of blousing straps or Velcro straps. Those ones are really good for holding up uh, your blouse. Got this bandana. Um, yeah, just I heard there's a lot of sand and they got sandstorms over there, so I got a bandana to wear if we need to. Got the uh, pair of pants and then another blouse. So we'll throw this in here. Um, then I'm gonna bring a pair of gloves. I don't think I need to bring both the gloves that were issued to me, so I'm just gonna bring one pair. Throw that in there. And I got a little assortment of patches here. So name tape and then a spice brown and the match com. So just gonna go ahead and throw that. I'll actually just put it in here. I use this zipper. Next I got some PT clothes. So these are brand new PT shorts. I'm in there. And then another PT shirt, because I guess you want to bring PT gear. Then you got to have your hats. So I got my boonie cap here, throw that in there. And I'll be bringing two baseball caps. So these two, both got your last name on the back, interchangeable with uh, your blouse if you need to. So throw that in there. Then of course I got issued this uh, canteen Mostly it's for like a, like your gas mask, so it can attach to your gas mask, but I don't think we're really gonna be using that down there. I'll bring that anyway, but more likely I'll be using this. Or my girlfriend bought me this, this hydro flask to keep the water cold in the desert. And for your uniforms, that should be everything you need. So, I mean, of course you can put more stuff, but as you can see, there is, uh, there's still more room to put things in there. So I'm sure you'll be leaving a deployment with more than you brought. So it just kind of works out. And I figured I might as well show you guys what I'm gonna be packing in my civilian luggage or just kind of my normal clothes. So first off, I'm probably gonna bring three pairs of shoes. You have one pair for hooping or for basketball. One pair that's gonna be, I guess, for kind of going out if we're allowed to go off base. And then I guess my everyday shoe here, which is for running, working out, and all that good stuff. Of course, you're gonna wanna bring your shorts, so I'm gonna try to work out as much as I can down there. So I'm bringing in three basketball shorts. I'm gonna bring some compression shorts uh, over here just for working out as well. Then I'm gonna bring some more boxers. There's some in my, my 72 hour bag, but just more boxers that I'll bring, or briefs. Some basic t-shirts for working out and sleeping in and some tank tops for working out as well. Some normal shorts. Slacks for going out if we do go out. Um, pair of workout pants. And I don't know if I was gonna bring these, but this is just a pair of jeans. I don't know if I'm gonna wear jeans down there, but why not? Some shirts here, collared shirts for going off base and some more t-shirts. Uh, over there, I'm gonna try and do college and you know work out and stuff, but I mean, just for the heck of it, we'll throw an Xbox in there. Um, that's padded down by the clothes, so I won't move around too much. Then I'm gonna bring my laptop for uh, you know doing schoolwork. Of course, you also wanna bring your glasses. These are uh, what I'm gonna be wearing, so I actually wear glasses if you guys have seen my videos, you know, I'm pretty blind, so you can kind of see there the thickness of the glasses. 
But these are glasses I got myself. I paid for them because I got the uh, high index lenses. Yeah, it makes your glasses a little thinner. As you can see, uh, it's still pretty thick. <clears throat> I want to compare that to these glasses. These are what the Air Force issued me. All right. Let's see how. Look at the glare on those things. And boom, look at the side. <laughs> oh, man. Look how thick those things are. So I'm going to bring these just because the Air Force issued them to me. But I honestly feel like the Air Force wants me to get hazed or something. As soon as I get down there, if I come wearing these, they're going to be like, yo, that, that guy. Well, I'll bring them, but I probably won't wear them. There's a high, there's probably about 100% chance I won't wear these. So, uh, yeah, again, these are the issued Air Force glasses. And again, you can compare the two. This is the one that I bought, the Ray-Bans. And this is the one the Air Force issued to me. So as you can see, this is actually probably double the size of this one uh, with the thickness of the glasses. So yeah, probably gonna be wearing these. I'll pack these just in case. All right, I forgot something. Uh, make sure you don't forget socks. Throw some socks in there, so make sure you're not barefoot. And check that out, you know, you wanna make sure that you roll them pretty nice with a smile. <laughs> All right guys, so thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Just wanted to show you what I'm gonna be packing for my deployment from my uniforms to my clothes, um, just my personal items and all that, so you guys can get an idea. When I'm going on this deployment, uh, one of my goals is gonna be documenting everything so I can update my family, my friends, everyone that basically watches my videos, how I'm living, how the, the lifestyle is over there. And um, you know, I appreciate you guys watching, so. Y'all take it easy and stay tuned.